So I want to talk about two of my clients that I think are really instructive as to like how quickly things can change. And, you know, one of my clients, it's interesting because another story about him, you know, sometimes you have clients that leave, right? I mean, if you have a business, hopefully clients leave. I always say if nobody's leaving, your prices are too low, you're not working with enough people. And so I had this client leave and when he left, you know, he was actually like a little bit annoyed. Um, and he sent me this long email about how I sort of pushed him too hard and been too direct. And, you know, I told him, I said, look, man, like, I've never promised I was the nice one. You know, that's why we have Amanda, right? <laughs> so, you know, I, sometimes I will push people a little bit too hard and sometimes it pushes them over the brink. But I met back with him about, you know, um, a week and a half ago or so. And, you know, ever since that time period, it was like two years ago, he stopped working with us. He never really could get it going. And he tried a bunch of things. And so we kind of had a conversation about working together again. And, you know, it's so interesting because what it made me, it reminded me of is just how much we've come in two years. I mean, and I, I think I've talked about this before recently, like we just had nothing back two years ago. And, you know, we even had a big business. I think two years ago, our business was still millions and millions of dollars in sales. But it's amazing how much farther it's come since then. I mean, we literally developed uh, software that helps you track how many appointments that you do, um, what your pricing should be on all of your existing clients and potential clients. We've added our entire client success team where you get a dedicated one-on-one -on -one coach. I mean, there's so many things. We've done tax planning bootcamp, CFO bootcamp. And so literally this guy came in and he, he said that since he left the program with us two years ago, he had not closed a single sale in those two years. So he hadn't had any new business ever since he left. And literally he got this, I guess today's January 17th. He posted a couple times, but I thought this one was really good. So you can see this here, right? So you can see um, this tax planning deck is pure gold. I sold a plan for 7,900. Watch this, broken down into quarterly payments of 1975. When I told the client his price, his only words were, send me the contract, he had no objections, he knew he needed it right now. And then, you know, he's like, oh, you know, the agreements, right? He probably hasn't gotten to that part of the training where we talk about that. So, you know, the point is that, you know, whenever somebody comes in, my goal is to always come into somebody's life and how do we get a result right now? How do we get a result right now? I had another client who came in to work with us and, you know, it's, it's interesting because, you know, sometimes you have these things that hold you back in your head and in this guy's case, like he knows a lot of people. He knows a lot of people and he's got a lot of good connections, but he had a bad experience with someone that he knew. And, um, you know, that client ended up leaving him just like my client ended up leaving me. Right. And, you know, it provides a good lesson. Like whenever you have a bad experience, like the question is, do you use it as like a power moment to like make yourself better, use it as a learning moment and add something new to the company? Or do you just let it sort of crush you and collapse you? And so he had been letting it sort of crush him and collapse him, not putting himself out there. He's got hundreds and hundreds of people that he knows, you know, in addition to doing active marketing that he could do to get appointments. And I said, dude, you've got to start reaching out to these people. I even forced him to reach out to somebody right there when we were talking and start going through and showing the value with them. Because and when I dug into the client that he had lost, like he didn't set expectations properly. So the client expected too much. The client was really demanding and unreasonable, but yeah, frankly. Um, but he didn't set clear expectations at the beginning. And that is why these decks that I've been talking about recently are so important. So you can see here, he actually posted in here. I'm uh, see if I can't share this one too. Are we doing this here? It might be a little bit hard. There we go. Yeah, big thank you, Andrew and Amanda, all your help. I've been part of the community about a week. He literally has been here about 10 days. Closed two tax plans and one CFO engagement. That's $36,000 in bookings. Okay, I mean, his business was not, you know, a huge business. I mean, that's a massive percentage increase. And so, look, I never promise anything to anybody. Um, and so it, I'm not promising anybody that is watching this video that if you come in and you work with us, you're going to be able to do this or what any of you guys are doing. But if you watch this video today, if you go, you, you go to my homepage, countytax.com, you know, you look at the video that we put there on the homepage when you opt in, you've gone through all that kind of stuff, right? I'm pretty transparent about what we do, right? The right type of person that comes to work with me, they're not like, okay, Andrew Argue, Andrew Argue's gonna promise me that he's gonna blah, 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 blah. I'm not promising anything, okay? If you think that you can come into our environment and use the tools that we have to get a result for yourself in the business, then we can actually help you. You know, so many people think that, oh my gosh, if I hire a business coach or if I have a mentor, they're gonna teach me and they're gonna give me and blah, 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 blah. You can't think like that. I had a woman that last year, um, I paid her $18,000 after talking to her for about 45 minutes, 18,000 in cash. And I only met with her for 30 minutes after that. But I knew what I needed. I knew that she had it. And I knew that I could monetize my investment. I knew that if I paid for that, I could get my return quickly. 
in a matter of days and you know the knowledge that she had for me and so she had like this whole i signed up for this whole annual thing with her but literally i pretty much like worked on some stuff for seven to ten days fixed the series of problems that i had related to her area of expertise boom didn't even use it after that right i mean i'm still like in her you know uh thing but do I need to, oh, I need to make sure I use every little thing. No, just get the outcome, get the result, monetize the investment, get the return. And so when you see these kinds of stories and when you see what we do, and by the way, if you're not familiar with what we do, there's an application that's gonna be below this video or linked around this video where you can apply. We actually only accept about 40% of our applications now. We used to let anybody sign up, but now we've gotten really clear on who we work with. Like if somebody's not got a you know a history of doing tax or accounting or wealth management like that we, we don't have them in this particular program um and if somebody doesn't already have a paying client like if you don't have a paying client and you're still in that state like oh i don't know can i get a paying client like there's all those psychological hurdles like right now would probably not be the best time for you to work with us right but as long as you have paying clients doing tax accounting wealth management i mean it's literally these two guys right here are great examples of people first week first week now they the reason they succeeded is I was just a vehicle. I was just an engine. They already decided I'm going to succeed in spite of Andrew or whether or not Andrew helps me. But I think those tools that he has, and I think that process that he has could help me speed it up, could help me do more, could help me do it faster. Right. And that is exactly how, you know, the best people see it. And I'm going to show you a cool slide because this is a cool slide that I don't know if I shared this one before. A lot of times people ask like, well, what do you really show the clients? Like, how does this happen in a matter of days? Like this guy didn't have a big business and he goes and adds $36,000 of sales in like the first week. We get him on the phone, right? And then you start going through and showing the business owner the value in a different way, right? So here's, here's just an example of one slide that explains like something that is generally ethereal. Like it's hard to explain to the client the value sometimes of meeting with them and meeting with them as a CFO as opposed to um, just doing bookkeeping, right? And so there's this is like a 200 slide presentation, but this is like one really good slide that I really like a lot. So I wanna share this, right? So you can see this here. So it says, you know, what's the difference between a bookkeeper and a CFO? Okay, because we just talked about this in a previous slide here. And so you can see our bookkeeper is like an at-home weight scale. Is it right? What do I do about it? Am I getting the full picture? Like, am I gaining muscle or am I gaining fat? Like at-home weight scales are actually not even accurate, right? So, and that's kind of how most people feel when they read their statements from their bookkeeper. That's different than if your goal is to lose weight, right? And you have an at-home weight scale versus you've got a personal trainer. All right, we're like a personal trainer. We help you set goals, help you implement, help hold you accountable to hit your targets every month. And so there's a gap there, right? Which then, you know, when we go through the process, that may result in a number of, okay, hey, you know, we're actually gonna do a lot of things with you, right? We might do different types of statements. We might have, you know, we might have some specific reporting that we do for you. And to, for, depending on the client, we're gonna go through that with them. But trying to have ways where they can visually see the value. They can understand it through analogizing it. And they can see, okay, that's what it is. That's what I need. That's how I'm going to increase revenue of the business, increase gross profit, increase net crop profit, increase the enterprise value. Finally, understand my numbers, be able to soak them in and take action on them in reality. So we have these for tax, uh, tax planning, chief, you know, CFO services, and then also wealth management. So what I love about that is we tip, we used to t help people get like leads and appointments as our first thing that we did, but we switched that to uh, doing the, the deck presentations because it just gives people so much confidence and then they can go out there and they can just go crazy while we're getting the lead generation up to speed. So, you know, if you guys haven't yet checked out what it's like to work with us, like I said, when you go through, nobody's promising you anything. If you think you can get a return, if you think you can grow your business, if you think you can restructure things with our tools and our methods and our madness, Go ahead and uh, fill out the application below. There'll be a presentation you'll go through with us on a one-on-one -on -one with my team, be about 300 slides, teach you about all the stuff that we've learned, all the stuff that we do. Um, go ahead and fill out that application below and I'll see you on the other side.